Hello and welcome back to the channel and I'd like today to go through my updated IGCSE Maths Paper 6 tips. Now I recorded a video many many years ago going through my tips for Paper 6. If you want to check that out of course then do click on the link above but I want to update this because it's been a few years since that video and there has been some changes to this paper that I th really think you need to be aware of to try and gain those extra marks to go between a B to an A or a C to a B and make sure you get those very very top grades. So let's Let's go through a typical paper. I'm going to go through my three very, very key tips to make sure you succeed on this paper. Okay, so I've got an example paper here uh, in front of you. So this is the paper six from November 2021, the variant three. And I'm going to go through this in terms of some general tips. If you want me to go through the walkthrough for this, so go through all the different questions in much more detail, then do check up the uh, video above. But I just want to go through my three main tips. And the first thing to realize here is it's now a one hour and 40 minutes paper. So you get an extra 10 minutes for this particular paper. And I recommend you use this as reading time. So what do I mean by reading time? Well, notice there are two sections in this paper, part A and part B. The first section here is an investigation, and I'd recommend using five minutes to go through the paper and see what you can recognize in terms of topics here. So first of all, I notice we've got some square numbers. So as I'm going through this paper, I go, okay, square numbers, that could be important. All right, as we look through, and we've got some substitution here. So I'm just looking through the paper, seeing if I can recognize any topics. And just looking through the paper, so we've got some algebra here. So we're gonna to have to use some algebra at some point. Okay, and we need to find all the values of K from one to nine. So we're gonna need some kind of systematic approach here. So I'm just taking notes on this paper, using that five minutes actively and not passively to see what I can use so far. Okay, so, okay, I've gone through the entire investigation paper here and just making notes using that reading time effectively. So that's my first key tip here to use the five minutes to go through the investigation part and then the modeling part separately. Uh, my tip number two is looking out for these table questions. So you'll see question 1A has a complete the table style question and question two does as well. And this is where you want to maximize your marks. Notice for these two tables and you're just filling in patterns here. So whopping five marks for this one here. And for this one, there is four marks as well. So nine marks out of 30 on this particular part of the question is just filling out the table correctly. And usually these table questions on the investigation part has some kind of pattern involved. So notice to go from here to here, so from A to A squared, we just need to square the number. So 20 squared is 400, two squared is four. So just by spotting patterns here, I notice four squared is 16, I can write that in really, really easily and start picking up a lot of these marks on the paper. So my key tip number two for you here is make sure you find those table questions, very common on the investigation, and make sure you get those. Now my tip number three is for the modeling section. So this is in this paper questions four to six. So on production boundaries, again, if you want to check out how to go through the entire paper here and check out the video above, uh, but notice you'll get these graph style questions, these sketch the model questions. So these come up very, very often on a modeling paper in some way, and this will involve using your graphical display calculator, your GDC. Notice they give you some function here. So one of the key skills on the modeling paper is being able to take a function here, changing the window setting, and then drawing a sketch onto the graph. So I'm gonna highlight, okay, 4A, there is some kind of sketch I need to do here. 5A as well, I need to do a sketch, this time from a table. So identify those sketching questions and making sure that you get all the marks on that. Now my last tip that I want to go through as well, my bonus tip, so to speak, is the communication marks, which is really important. So say I take this question here and we need to do a sketch. So if you do this on your GDC, it will look something like this. One thing that students often miss out on is labeling axes. So when you do do a sketch like this, you need to make sure you label what value this is and what value this is as well. Um, talking of communication marks, we go back to investigation. 
okay making sure that you show your working so when we're systematic here that we actually show which square numbers we're adding together for example so there are specific marks for communication that you cannot pick up unless you show your working and i put that in big letters now in front of you show your working the most important part on here because even if you don't get it right as long as you're showing how you're thinking about the question you are going to pick up a lot of marks so hopefully you found that useful so make sure first of all you use the extra 10 minutes for reading time five minutes for investigation five minutes for modeling make sure you identify the topics that you can uh, do later on make sure you can answer the questions on the table those table marks are usually lots and lots of marks on the investigation paper and then for the modeling if i scroll back down again making sure you label your axes make sure you're happy plotting putting functions onto your graph and making sure you can use your graphical display calculator effectively hey thank you for watching the video again if you want any more tips on paper six then please do check the video now you see right in front of you because i go through tons and tons and tons of paper six videos so you're really well prepared for when that paper six exam arrives